Kristen Drummond joins us live now in Henderson, where the fundraiser is underway. Hi, Kristen. Sasha, the event is called Henderson Helps. It's hosted by the Injured Police Officers Fund, the same group that held Shea Day last week. And as you can see, the community is coming out to support Shea as he is recovering in the hospital. I'm here with Jenny. She is a teacher. And why did you want to come out today? Well, one of the things we learned about being a teacher in the district is about community and how important that is to be there for one another. So I know people that are assisting with the event and inviting me to come out and I think something like this to support our officers and everyone in the community is so key in, in helping each other. We should be there for one another. So one way Jenny and others are helping are by buying these t-shirts here. You can see on the table there are three different types. They say Shay's name, they have his badge number as well as Metro's badge as well. And I'm also here with Fr uh, Officer Michelonis' uncle Frank Michelonis. And everyone wants to know, can you give us an update? How is Shay right now doing in the hospital? Yeah, so right now he's stable, which is good. That's the best we can hope for. And our goal is in the next three or four days, we're shooting for Monday or Tuesday to get him on to the next facility and airlift him out and, and fly him. So that's what we're hoping for. Um, you know, just to recap where he is, he's, you know, severe spinal cord injury from the neck down. He'll be paralyzed and needs a ventilator. So. But he's, he's alert and he seems to know what's going on. So cognitively, uh, we're happy. You mentioned the family has been updating him about certain events like Shea Day, Henderson Helps. How has he responded to it? So he is there emotionally. We told him last week there was a Shea Day. His eyes lit up. That's basically how he communicates is with his eyes. And his eyes lit up. Um, we show him the Golden Knights sign jersey by the players. And he was very happy. He shows emotion. He cries. Um, which is tough to see, but he's there, and we, you know, we just sent him the helicopter that came in. We just, my, uh, his father's at the hospital right now, and we showed him photos of that, and he's, he's, he's alert. We, again, I've said this before. We cannot thank the community of Las Vegas. We can't thank the injured police officers fund for putting this on. Everyone's been so good to my family. I, I thank the press for being respectful. You, you, the local Las Vegas uh, press has been wonderful. Very, uh, just very courteous of our time. And so I, I, I said it before and everyone that I'm not from Las Vegas and I love the people of Las Vegas. This is a great community. Well, that community continuing to show your family support even outside of Big B's Texas Barbecue. I want to show you there is a long line out the door. The owner telling me he has never seen anything like this, and that's because a portion of today's proceeds will be going to this event to help with Officer Michelonis' recovery in the hospital. We're told the line right now is about an hour and a half wait, but many people willing to wait just because they want to show their support. This event has has been extended until 6:30 tonight. So once you get off work, you can come on down, buy a T-shirt. We have been told certain sizes have been sold out. So the sooner you get here, the better. We'll have another live report about this coming up at five tonight. Reporting live in Henderson, Kristen Drummond, Eight News Now. Kristen, thank you. Great. There's such a huge turnout out there.